come first. Then, of course, they may say, sir, from the time the initialize is one, then the time or more, it will take time. Of course, the take time is very too fast. So don't worry, it's negligible. So we want to set it on first, and then we on the timer. The timer will calculate for 0 0.25 milliseconds, and the call interrupt, interrupt will actually alternate the spin. Spin, see. So what we can do is, we can hit set L, we can initialize for the speed pin number 0. Is there anything else? Regarding configuration and initialization. So what's next? So we already discussed that we are going to use timer. So what are we going to do about timer? This timer we have two aspects. One is configuring the timer, the one is configuring the interrupt. So which one you should do first? Interrupt. So how do we configure interrupt? You know the same standard line which is standard line now. So the first, uh, what is the interrupt source? It's actually timer 1, right? Timer 1 belongs to which group? Huh? Yeah, it's peripheral. Then you have to identify this one. So peripheral means, now search. Now we need to configure the 3 bits, right? So the flag, flag is in which uh, PIR, which PIR register is in the flag. Everyone please try to find PIR 1, PIR 2, PIR 3, where is timer 1 flag? PIR 1. So what you should do with the flag? Yeah. PIR 1, timer 1. Right. And then the priority. Now take note that for the peripheral, did I mention this in class? If it's TIR ones, then everything will be number one. So if you want to, the next thing is priority. Priority will be in IPR one also. One is in one, everything will be in one. So this will be timer one flag. Uh, sorry, uh, the priority you make it as high priority. I just continue here. And then the enable bit, you also want to set it. The enable bit will be in PIE 1. <coughs> so this is timer 1 enable bit. Will the interrupt happen? Don't worry about it. But this will be question. That's what's then in time, right? Correct, correct. No problem. Yes, we need to enable global guy. So, which one? Is this enough? No. What else is missing? Yes, we need to enable the global peripheral as well. So, now the interrupt is active. What's next? What's next step? Configure the timer. Timer 1. So to configure the timer 1, uh, we need to do two things right. One, Uh, 
sir, keep it zero. Clock source enable bit. This one is also zero. We got using instruction cycle clock. Frequency oscillation divided by four. Okay, this is this what we call. And the last one is timer one on. You want to on or off? You want to on. So this will be one. And then this one now we have to select prescaler. So for the prescaler, <coughs> the same formula, right? We apply.
Kumar, then move it to Vishnu. Then you need to load the value to the timer, the same principle also. But because you are only using 8 bit, so you only need to load into the timer 1 low. Timer 1 low is the same like timer 0 as timer 1 low, timer 1 high. And with the high frequency, also you can use timer 1. Not a problem. Oh, sorry. Maybe I should mention this as well. Take note that for high frequency also you can use timer 1. But for some uh, duration, if the duration is very big, then you won't be able to use timer 1. You can see that because the pre scale is until 8 only. So it doesn't give you that much of range, but it can be also be used. So we just load, so 255 minus 2. We just move little value decimal. 253 and we move it to uh, timer 1 low. This is sufficient. So now you have loaded the value because 0.25 milliseconds is actually very fast, extremely fast. So after you have loaded, what do you want to do? You have loaded the value already, so you will start counting. It's only two steps, one, tap, tap. What's next? We did it before, right? What's next? Ah, yes, you wait. You already configured it, so you wait for the second time to happen. <coughs> you see, again, the same structure, only how we actually do it. times this every 2.5 milliseconds this will be called. So actually 0 0.25 milliseconds is extremely fast. Very very fast. So you can see the wave the, the wave signal. Is that okay? So yes. Just curious to ask if you're using two timers, if we are required to use two timers, how do we activate it? We still do the same, do one, yes. then the other. Yeah. Take note that timer is, all timers are actually independent of the main program. You can let it run by itself. So, so far I have not seen two timers. Because I thought that if, because there are some questions where you do high interrupt and low interrupt at the same time. So I was thinking if, if each of them also need one timer, how to do that? Same. 
the how we had to interrupt, we configure one by one, right? Safe configure one by one. Any other questions? We are doing timer 2. So we don't have time for timer 2. Yes? Well, the reason you use timer 1 loop because it's only hit bit. Yeah. And that's not very config, that's why you put the 0 in front. Early it is 1. So you use 16. So of course the reason I just told it's a small thing we don't need. 16 bit for just two clock cycle. Yes, correct. Do we use more than one interrupt? Can somebody want to use interrupt? We did the example before also. When you have two same uh, high or low level priority, how to choose between one? We did right? Class. Okay. Now this interrupting, of course, whatever example that I have done here is actually, as I mentioned, there are so many examples you can do. That means you can have timer interrupt and also normal external switch interrupt. You can have multiple interrupts. You can, you can configure timer, you can configure interrupt zero at the same time. But then, like what uh, Farag was asking, like if you have one is INT zero, is high interrupt, and then timer also is high interrupt, how are you supposed to select? Same principle. Whenever the high interrupt happens, check which flag is on. Same principle like how it is. Same thing. Any other question? Zero point five is the period. For one kilohertz, color you divide one over two kilohertz, say you get zero point five in second. Frequency time is one over f. So you don't forget time. The time is actually for one period. So one period you always have that on and off. Okay. So on and off is always half. Because it's a symmetry. That is what you can divide your group of body when you so it's actually period is from one high to another high. So in the period of high and period of the guy. So it's the same. So you need to divide the group so that you don't have to go on and talk about it. What's in the word? No, what are you doing? Oh, five, four, 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 five, so, thank you very much for coming. Oh yeah, I'll email you the menu for just a venue I'll let you know. So thank you for coming and the speaker is talking.